Okay. Um, my next question is, uh, again, I think I know your answer to this, but I, since you've uh, been in the industry for a while and specifically focused on UT and have experience using different instruments, my question is, Olympus, ZTEC, Sonatest, and Edify. Are you going to get me in trouble? <laughs> I can't pick one over the other. Well, you know, I mean, I guess you can uh, answer this question politically and, you know, try to try to tell us what were the good things and bad things. This is not necessarily bad things, but like challenges probably. You know? Sure. Well, you know what? Um, I have good things to say about all of those instruments that you mentioned. Um, I had an Edify shirt on yesterday. It's too bad we didn't talk yesterday. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I used mostly Olympus equipment, uh, for, for most of my career so far. Okay. Um, all the way from, uh, APOC 2B. I didn't start in the analog age, although I have used analog equipment. Okay. Um, I, I started with, uh, things like Epoch LTs, but, uh, but I have used an Epoch 2, uh, up to an Epoch 6 LT, the new one. Um, and I've used OmniScans lots and lots. Um, MXs and SXs and MX2s. Um, and I've also used uh, the ZTEC equipment. And I have, uh, I could, can't say I've used it, but I've been around the M2M equipment. And uh, I know lots of people uh, speak very highly of the, the TFN capabilities with M2M. Um, recently, I, I had a chance to uh, take a look at some sauna test gear. And um, I, I really felt that that was a good match for me. Um, Sonic Gear is really, really fast. Um, and the capability uh, is really strong. Uh, and I like, the, uh, I like the support team that they've got. And okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so I guess to answer your question, there's good things about all of them, right? And there's no, sure. perfect, there's no perfect piece of equipment because there's things that, uh, that my, uh, my old OmniScan uh, MX uh, was awesome at right, and I and um, and there's things that maybe that it did in a certain way that I prefer that it did over other instruments. But yeah. then, but then when I look at my old MX, I think, golly, you know, the the Topaz sure has a nice screen, right? It's it's really snappy. And then I look at my my Veo, you know, and uh, I go, wow, it's uh, really fast, like crazy fast and it's okay. so responsive. Um, so for me, the best, the best match for myself was the Veo. Okay. And, and, and if, um, if I'm not wrong, Veo is Sonatest is uh, not a touchscreen. That's, that's correct actually. And, uh, Oh, conveniently. Oh, it's right. Right there. Isn't that weird? <laughs> okay. So, um, so I'll just press that on button there. Okay, so yeah, the, the veil is not a touchscreen, and that doesn't bother me because really? um, yeah, especially you're being you've so you said you've used OmniScans. Have you used the touchscreen versions of OmniScans or yeah. the, the free uh, MX, which is all hard? Key? I all, use both. Yeah. But, so and, you've used touchscreen, and you, you're going back to hard keys, and you're saying you don't find it uh, difficult to navigate. Through yeah, them. I would I would I would not say I'm going backwards. I would say that. Um, most manufacturers have abandoned buttons because there's just so much more you can, you know, there's so much more real estate you can touch here, right? Um, there, that's on now. Um, but I find that when you're, uh, if you're working in a lab situation, right, having a touch screen is fine because uh, you're the, 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 the guy on the tools, right? You've got your hands uh, covered, you've got gloves on, you've got couplings all over the place and, and you're, you know, you're, you're moving the probes around and I'm got a, I've got an easy job. I got bare hands and I press the button and I say, critique, go forward, go backward, go forward. Right. But, you know, um, that's fine. A touchscreen works great in that situation. But if it's just you with the, with the machine and a, and a, you know, a chest strap, you know, yeah. I go everywhere. With a chest strap. That's yeah. me. And that's right. around the neck and you're trying to balance probes, right? Or a phased array probe. And uh, you've got a couple and bottle in one hand and your phased array probe in the other hand. And it's wrapped around your wrist because you're trying to not trip on the cord. Right. And, and you've got couplings all over the place. Maybe there's a water pump. 
And oh my God. And now I got to look for a clean knuckle. I got to find a clean <laughs> knuckle to touch the screen and oh, pain in the butt. Yeah. So um, I found that, uh, that for me, not having a touch screen is great. Okay. And this stuff here is so intuitive. I love it. Um, it's not for everybody, but um, it works really well for me. Um, yeah. I'm not completely against touch screens. You know, you right. can't misunderstand. Right? <clears throat> right. It's, it's convenient to, to use. Um, but um, one thing I've realized is like um, Olympus, ZTech, and I feel edified too is a Windows-based platform. And then Sonatest is different, right? Yeah. So I turned the instrument on. I didn't make a deal about it when I did, but um, it boots up in 20 seconds. 20. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So is that because it's, uh, what is it, Linux? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's, uh, there's no uh, feeling that you're, that Windows is choking the, uh, uh, the software, right? And it's different. Uh, like when I used the the Topaz, I was uh, I was pleasantly surprised. It was uh, Windows is running, right? But it's very snappy. Uh, so, like I said, there's lots of good things about all the instruments. Yeah. Um, I think the uh, uh, the Edify instrument. I use the the um, the Paul Steady Current system or the Lift. Okay. Yeah. Right? And uh, it's actually quite responsive. With Windows, so it's it's not a huge detriment to be running Windows. It's just when you see how fast it is on Linux, you go, "Wow, it's it's really there's it can't be any faster than that." Because as soon as I hit the button, it does something. There's no really? there's a little spinning cursor. There's no hourglass. It just does stuff. I see. 